needs to be looked at and you know that's that's what they've got to do uh, Wigan Man U concludes a brilliant weekend of FA Cup third down action Monday night live on Talk Sport coverage begins at 7 presented by Adrian Durham commented from Jim Proudfoot and former England midfielder Danny Murphy now last night was a board draw wasn't it Palace and Everton but once again VAR is the focus what a disgrace let me well referee uh, Chris Cabin I was asked to check the monitor for a possible red card uh, to our disbelief, he agreed. He overturned his original decision and gave uh, gave the red card to Calvert Lewin, which is absolute joke. For more uh, on that incident and VAR in general, we're joined by former Premier League referee and ex PGMOL chief Keith Hackett joins us. Keith, very good morning. Morning, Keith. Keith. Good morning, Alan. Good morning, Ray. Keith, I, w- I wish we we're talking about something nice, but I'm just getting. Yes. I-, I think. So many people, vast majority, are just sick to the teeth with VAR. And I would honestly say that's probably one of the worst red cards I've seen ever given. Oh, I, I'm agreeing with you. I mean, the referee's in a very good position. He's judged that challenge. It was fair. He didn't even award a free kick. Then I asked myself, this is not a clear and obvious error. So why does the two existing referees, Premier League referees, because they had a VAR, Craig Porson, and they've now introduced another guy, an SVAR, Michael Saltbury, to oversee it all. I just don't understand it. I just do not understand how three Premier League referees, however they come to the conclusion, can determine that that is a red card. I apologise to Calvert-Lewin because he put in a fair challenge. There was no brutality in the challenge. It didn't meet the criteria for serious foul play. I just don't know where we're going. No. Look, I believe in technology, but at the moment, Alan and Ray, mm. bin it. Bin it, because it's ruining the game and it's not improving the quality of decisions. They've had it five years. We're not seeing any improvement. It's ruining spectators' enjoyment, and we're seeing players incorrectly sent to the bin and this is not right and not fair in football. Keith, I don't totally think it's good. going to be going away, though, is it? I mean, no. so how, how if, you, if you're sitting in the panel now and you're going, right, how do we improve it? How, what, is, what is the biggest thing we do to improve VAR? Is it going around yeah. the, the um, so people know exactly where they, can, where they stand with the player's point of view and, and the rules and because some of the handball decisions and, oh. you know, how do we improve it? Well, I think, first of all, there's no doubt that the handball law needs to be looked at and changed. I'm very clear on that. I think offside, in terms of VAR, if they bring in the semi-automated system, we'll still get toenails offside, but it'll improve that a player is in an offside position, but being in an offside position is not committing an offence. The reality here is the people who are sitting in judgment in front of these television screens need a massive improvement. And the only way you're going to do that is drop the current referees by way of active referees from that role, bring in people who are tested, educated, using their experience to get the right decision. And listen, when I took over the PGMOL, I brought ex-players and managers in to judge the performance of referees. So I'm not against former players, former managers, and former referees getting this system improved because at the moment <laughs> it's just undermining the game. You know, goal celebrations, Keith. Now, you players oh. are looking around, they're looking for the linesman, yeah. they're looking at screens. You know, they don't know what you do now. You know, whatever happened to no. you know hitting the back of the net and running to your fans and celebrating? That's what football's all about. Now it's gone. I've seen both of you, and I've been in a privileged position hit the back of the net, turn and celebrate. And I've been then chasing you upfield to the halfway line. And this is what football's about. It is about goals, and you're absolutely spot on. This whole thing is becoming mechanical, too slow, and we're losing the heart of the game. The passion is being eroded because fans are just looking around at each other. When I see two experienced managers on the line, touchline last night, both who have done a terrific game, you know, job in the game and long serving, smiling at each other and looking to the Evans, what's going off. Yeah. I'm doing the same. Mm. I'm doing exactly the same. 
And Howard Webb's got to grip it, and he's got to change things, and he's got to be allowed to change things quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't agree more. Keith, great to talk to you again. Keith. Take care. Thank Pleasure. you. Pleasure. Thank uh, you. Keith Hackett there. I just got to say just quickly, I was at Chelsea v Sheffield United, yeah. and I'm sitting right next to the Chelsea fans, and they scored the second goal, but it looked like it wasn't going to be a goal, and they want one celebration from the crowd. That and that they, they all turned around looked at the TV. <laughs> Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.